Hey everybody, uh, just going to show you a quick video on how to uh, adjust your carburetor to tune your chainsaw. I suppose half of the saws that I see, really a lot of what's wrong with them is they won't run because they're out of adjustment. Two strokes can be really finicky with temperature change, uh, barometric pressure change, humidity change. They never want to run the same all the time if you're running uh, just the old tried and true carburetor. So to make things quick, most every chainsaw that you have, whether the brand, whatever it is, will have three adjustments. And then depending on which way the carburetor is set up, they'll be in different orders. But the big one by itself is always the throttle adjustment. And that actually opens and closes your throttle plate just like it would if you were hitting the throttle. The other two are your high and low jets. And that tells the carburetor or gives the carburetor how much fuel comes in by its own uh, through the Venturi by the engine running in vacuum. Always the low jets on the inside and the high jets on the outside. And each cover will have, uh, especially for the low jet, their recommended setting. So what I would do, this one shows a little bit better, uh, the high and the low and the idle and the throttle plate. What I do when I get a saw in that's not running and I don't think I have to rebuild the carburetor, first thing that I will do uh, is turn the low jet out, maybe a quarter to half a turn, and that richens the mixture. But then I take the throttle plate screw and turn that in, and that gives the, the same effect as, as holding the throttle open or high idle a little bit. And that will usually get me to get the saw running. And you can pull all day, pull all day, pull all day if it's a little bit lean, and you're just gonna be frustrated. So again, what I do is I richen up the lean, or the low mixture, the low jet, and then I run the throttle plate idle screw in to open up for a higher idle. And that'll usually get me going. Now once I'm there, this obviously, this old saw does not have a chain break, and the chain's fairly loose on it. So once you're there and you got the saw running, the, way, the proper way to tune it is to take your low jet and turn it in or out, whichever way you need, to make the saw run the fastest RPMs. And sometimes you'll get there and it'll be going too fast because you got the idle screw mixed in, or turned in, and you'll back that off. But you want it a little bit back and forth until you get it brought down. And you'll find that point about three quarters to a turn out on the low mixture that the chain will run and run as fast as it'll run and if you turn it either way it'll slow it down it'll either get fat or it'll get too lean and start to die out now that's where they tell you to put it I like to get it right there and then just just a smidge turn it fat it seems to work better for me it seems to work better at idle uh, it's not what they recommend or it's not common practice it just seems to work to be better for me in the field. So you got your idle set, you got your low speed set, and just a smidge fat. And then the most important thing is the high idle. That's the thing that you can take and score your cylinder and let it run lean. And what happens a lot of times is, and I'll show you here once I start it, what sounds really good is really lean and then what sounds pretty good is actually still lean and then what sounds like it's a touch fat which they call it four stroking for a saw running under no load you'll hear it as I tune it it'll wanna it, it, you'll get a blurt 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 in it and you'll have more smoke coming out but that's okay because you want a little more fuel in it right now it's just like revving your engine in neutral it's probably got more fuel than it needs but once you put it in gear and you put the power to it and you need to move something it needs more fuel than what it does just idling in neutral so what that translate is in the cut in the wood when you got that thing barreled down in there and you're throwing chips you need more fuel than you do sitting here tuning it so it takes a little bit to get hang of, but I'll tell you this, your saw will cut a little slower and it'll build up a little more 
but you'll realize it if you're too fat because you'll you'll feel that and you'll be this is this is not right but it won't hurt anything other than you know coking up the the spark plug a little bit and the exhaust a little bit as soon as you lean it out it's just fine if you're a little too lean before you know it it'll probably be too late um, it might still run it might still whatever but if you were actually to take it down you'd probably see some marking some some scoring in the cylinder so I always like to run it a touch fat and then lean it out as I go just for precautionary um, today with the 50 to 1 full synthetic and especially if you do the moto mix of steel or there's any other mountain line that have no ethanol in them and have a good shelf life it's a lot different than what they used to be and I, this probably will still smoke but uh, the fuel and the oil is higher quality so you shouldn't have to adjust as much as you do but if you're having problems not being able to start it and the saw has been sitting and you don't have a bunch of old gas in it if you do get that out of there plus get it out of the carburetor put new gas in it fatten up your low speed jet and then turn your throttle plate in and then you want to play it by ear after you get the low set and then make the high so it's a little bit thick a little bit rich and you'll hear it as I tune it here so I'm gonna go ahead and try and tune it and hopefully the things that I explain will make sense
chain is super loose, so I had it set a little bit low on idle to get that chain to stop, uh, just for demonstration purposes. But you see how bringing that, um, it sounds really, really fat, but you get this bar full of, full of, uh, full of wood and start throwing chips and, and, and it'll be, it'll be right on, guarantee it. Uh, and also going back to the low jet being a little bit fat, what I found is, especially as saws get older and clutches get wore and everything isn't just like it used to be, given that it's just a little bit fat helps bring that saw back down to idle a little quicker and uh, creates for less danger uh, the saw sitting and just free spinning on the, on on, uh, on idle um, but that's how I tune a saw I'm sure people do it differently but I have never scored a cylinder and I can cut quite a bit of wood uh, and it works for me so hopefully you learn something trial and error and say always a little bit fat is okay uh, a little bit lean you're gonna be spending money so thanks for watching and I know it drug on and please any questions I'm willing to answer them and thanks